how much crossover is it now into the whole facial experience? It's massive. So every single patient that comes to see me gets a full face treatment plan. So no one comes in and I say, oh, well, what in your teeth? And that's it. Like we take full face pictures, right. we look at facial symmetry, we talk about lip position, we talk about lip size, proportion, jawline, cheek, you know, yeah, all the all lines amazing. on the forehead, and the eyebrow position and all the things that even me saying these words, you guys will know, oh, she's going to vote up that, she's going to fill up that, she's, you know, and... Yeah. Um, so everyone, everyone from from me, I think I'm a little bit unusual in that respect, and I lecture about it quite often um, because a lot of practitioners may offer both, but they split them out. So they'll be, you know, they'll work in dentistry Monday to Thursday, and then on Friday they'll do their facial aesthetic. Right. They have their facial aesthetic day, and my argument is, why are you doing that? Mm. You know, if you if you create a treatment plan and your your patient wants to go ahead with it. Then what I do is I then put the appointments in, in, in an order that works to have it all done. Like, obviously, I want to do their lip fillers after they've had their teeth done so that I'm not pulling, you know, their newly shaped lips around. Um, I want to do their gummy smile Botox before I do their gum lift so that I can see how much drop they've had before, you know. And, and so the whole plan is, is created so that it all works together in, in harmony. Yeah, and I think that's a really good point you make because, again, coming back um, to the insurance element, that I'm of the opinion that if someone's doing facial aesthetics but they're also doing cosmetic dentistry, they should have their insurance mm-hmm. all under one roof. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think yeah. having to say that always comes up as the first insurance company to go to. Aesthetics Unlocked. Download and listen to the full podcast now at cosmetic-insurance.com or wherever you get your podcast from.